In this Playrate video, I will talk about how to perform data-driven testing in Playrate with TypeScript using CSV file. So firstly, we will install the csv-parse plugin. Then we will create the CSV file test data and then we will create a new spec file. So that is where we are creating the our simple test and then we will read the csv file test data and after that we will pass the each set of csv test records into the our playwright test so firstly let's install the plugin called csv hyphen parse so here i will go to the terminal and then i will enter the command called npm space install space csv hyphen parse so let's install the plugin so plugin is installed here right so after installing the plugin so let's quickly create a one csv file inside the test hyphen data folder so inside the qa folder i'm creating the csv file here test data dot csv so usually data will be present in the csv file with the comma separated right so here i will go to the this particular csv file and i will add the test data there so here i will open the csv file so firstly let's add the headers so after adding the headers i will add the two sets of test data so here i'm giving the header as skill 1 and comma and skill 2 so respective test data also can be specified just below the headers with the comma separated so here adding here i'm adding the skill 1 as playwright by testers talk i'll put a comma so let's add the skill 2 so here I'll say Cypress by tester stop. So this is our one set of test data. So let's add the second set of test data. So here I'll pass the Java script by tester stop. So this is our skill one. And let's pass the skill two as API testing by testers stop. So that's it guys. We are done with creating the CSV file test data. So let's close this. So if I go to the CSV file and you should be able to see the test data here. So we are done with creating the test data now. Now let's create a fresh spec file. So already we have created a one spec file in the previous playwright tutorial called zero to data driven testing using json file right so i will copy the same spec file and i'll paste it inside the chapter 5 then i will rename the spec file as 03 data driven testing using csv then i will add dot spec dot ts so that's it guys we are done with creating the spec file also so let me maximize this window so i will delete this first few lines of code and i I will also delete the import also. 
So for time being, I will comment this entire test. We will come back to this test bit later. Now let's import the CSV parser, right? So here I'll say import as parse from the csv-parse slash sync. So we have imported the csv-parser now. And after that, you need to import the file system fs from fs. So similarly, let's import the path also. So why I am importing fs and path is to work with the csv file. Mainly we will access the location of the csv file and we will access the data from the csv file by using the fs and path. Now we are done with installing the plugin and also we have created the test data file and also we have created a fresh spec file also. And then we are imp we have imported the few things. Now let's define the test data structure for the type safety purpose. So here I'll say type followed by I'm giving the one variable name as test records, right? Then inside the flower brackets. So here I need to specify the header names. So if you go to the our CSV file, we have given the header as skill one and we have specified the value of type is string, right? Similarly, so let's pass the skill to as well. So we had only two headers. So we are passing the, sorry, we are defining the, those two headers, those two headers here in this test records for the type safety purpose. While accessing the data, you can specify the key name easily or header names easily. Now let's access the test data from the CSV file. So here I'm creating the one constant variable called records. So after accessing, accessing the data from the CSV file, so we will assign back to the records variable. Then, so here I'm using the parse and inside the parse, we have to pass the two parameters. The first one is the file system. So that is where we are passing the location of the CSV file. So fs dot read file sync. Inside this method, you need to pass the path dot join. So inside the join, I'm passing the directory name comma. And here we have to specify the path of our CSV file test data. So we have the test hyphen data folder. Inside that we have a QA folder and inside that we have the CSV test data file. So that's it guys. So this is the first parameter. Then next you need to pass the another object where we are specifying the configurations. So here I'm pa passing the one configuration called columns as true. So here I'm saying that read the each and every column then skip empty lines as a true. So if there are empty lines, just skip it. So that is what I'm saying here. So that's it guys. So it's very simple. So for the parse, I'm passing the two parameters. First one is the location of the our CSV test data file. And second one is we are passing the few configurations for reading the test records from the CSV file. So after reading the test data from the CSV file, I will convert this 
test data into the our local object of type test records so here i'll say as test records object because after reading this csv file so i will get that data in the form of object so that's the reason i'm specifying the object here right now this particular records variable contains the each and every set of test data from the csv file so just we have to iterate through each and every set of test data so that's the reason so simply i will write the for of loop here by using the for of loop i will get the each each and every row of test data and i will pass on to the playwright test so here i'll pass records and here i'll say record that's it guys now i will scroll down so let me uncomment this particular test so i will just take out only the test from the below code then we will delete the not required code So that's it guys now so if i go to the our csv file so whenever first time our test is running so we will get the this particular row of test data so whenever our test is running second time so we will get the second row of test data so in our case so let's pass the so let's try to read the skill one column test data so you can try to access the even skill to or if you have added multiple skills here you can try to access it so in our case just we are reading the skill one so now let's go to the our spec file so by using the records so i will access the skills here so here we have already specified the header names and simply here i'll pass the skill skill one so similarly so let's pass the record dot skill one so here i'll say record dot skill one while clicking on the playlist also and at the end we are validating the web page title here also right so if our test is running so as we are reading the only skill one first time our test will be searching with the play rate by tester stock and second time our test will be searching with javascript by tester stock so like this you can add n number of headers or n number of sets of test data so just i'm demo purpose i have added two headers and two sets of test data you can add multiple sets of test data here and multiple columns and respective value also so let's close this csv file and now our test is ready guys so let's run the test now so first time we should be able to search with the play rate by tester stock that is done second time we are searching with javascript by tester stock now this time so here i will pass the skill 2 so wherever i am passing the so let me update the test title also as csv so wherever i am passing the skill 1 this time i will pass the skill 2 So this time, so if I go to the CSV file, so firstly we should be searching with the Cypress by tester stock and second time we should be able to search with API testing by tester stock. So let's again run the test.
So firstly, we are searching with Cypress by tester stock. And then we are searching with API, test, API testing by tester stock. So let's go to the our test report. So let's check the report also. So I will open the index.html report. And if you see here, guys, so we are able to run the our test with the multiple sets of test data. So this is how you can read the test data from the CSV file. And this is how you can perform the data-driven testing using CSV file in the Playwright with TypeScript.